Today I am gonna give you the highly requested tour of our new RV. We do wanna make some changes to this thing and now to take you to the room, which is the entire reason that we bought this model. Hello friends, as promised today, I am gonna give you the highly requested tour of our new RV. We have a travel trailer. That is the type of RV that we bought. It hitches up to our Nissan Envy, which fits us and all seven of our kids comfortably and is able to tow our trailer. So when I was looking for an RV, the main thing I was concerned about was having a bunk room that would fit as many of our kids as possible. I looked online at tons of different floor plans and settled on the Sunset Trail SS331BH. Let's go on in, I'll show you around. One thing I love the most about this floor plan is this island. One, it gives you a ton of extra counter space. Obviously, this isn't a whole lot to work with. And when we bring our coffee maker with us, because you know we do, it takes up pretty much this whole section right there. So this gives me a lot of space to cook and work. Um, it has a huge sink, and this is a drying rack, which I love, so I can wash and just leave dishes right here to dry over top of the sink and then put them away. Uh, the other thing I love is that I'm facing what's going on. So I'm not like always having my back to things and not really being able to be a part of conversation with the kids or if we have friends in. Um, I'm able to prep, cook, wash dishes, whatever I have to do and still be like engaged. And so I just really, really love that. You don't see this in a ton of travel trailers. So I feel really blessed that we were able to find one that has it. Behind me, you've got microwave, cutest little oven ever. I was actually able to find some ceramic bakeware that fit perfectly in here. So it also has tons of storage in the kitchen, uh, places to put spices, paper plates, whatever you want. We've got spots for our cooking spins. There's also tons of storage space underneath the island. There's two drawers. We've got storage space for pots and pans, extra groceries, uh, pantry goods. In here is where I keep all of our cleaning supplies. So we've got these cute bottles from Young Living, dish soap, the hand soap, trash bags, scrub brushes, all of that stuff will stay nice and tidy under here. Honestly, there was more space than we even needed. So we had like empty cabinets, which I think is really cool. Uh, the refrigerator is smaller than a residential fridge, but bigger than what you would see in most campers. So I was really surprised to see how much fit in there and we still had room for more. Moving right along, we have this TV, which is kind of garbage and it doesn't really work. So it's really just for show, I guess. Maybe one day we'll figure that out. But honestly, when we're living in this thing, we're really just trying to enjoy each other and the outdoors. And so who needs a TV? I take that back. There are several times in the mornings when I was trying to get everyone breakfast and they were driving each other crazy that I was like, I wish this thing worked. So we might fix that later. <laughs> it's got this fireplace which the kids absolutely love. You can put it to like 60 degrees so it blows out cooler air, um, but they like looking at the flames when it's on. This, I wasn't sure about. We do wanna make some changes to this thing. We wanna paint some of the darker brown wood white um, and just like, Give it our style and touch. I was thinking we would replace this with a more modern looking sofa, but after spending a week with it and realizing that it reclines all the way back, I love um, nursing a baby in this is the most comfortable thing because you can just lay back and relax and it's really wonderful. So I'm actually really, really feeling it. Um, this is really nice, this dinette situation. One, the table lowers and you put the cushions flat to build an extra bed. So if ever our children can't stand each other in the bunk room, one of them will sleep out here, or when he outgrows sleeping with us, we've got an extra space to sleep out here. Um, but all six of our girls fit at it, three on each side, which is really, really cool. They're all able to sit and eat breakfast together. We had storage underneath. These drawers pull out. In there we kept games, coloring books, crayons, all that kind of stuff. There's another storage drawer on the other side for blankets or whatever you want to put in it. This came in handy. I kept all of my supplements up here. I kept like lollipops and treats and things for the kids, uh, the baby diapers and wipes, 
that kind of thing. I'm leaving a first aid kit in here and then a little basket that has some things that we wouldn't want to forget. Gluten relief, enzymes, some sunscreen. That way we will have it even if we forget to pack it. So love the amount of storage space in here, which also reminds me the pantry that when I saw it, I was like, all right, this is not going to be enough space. Oh my word. It fit so much stuff. Like we had desserts, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the ingredients, everything we needed, plus more room. And then like I said, there's still room in the island. So if there's one thing that they did right, it was making plenty of storage space. Through this door, you will find the master bedroom and the master bathroom. Okay, so come in here. We've got this fancy shower which actually is really, was really spacious. I was able to fit in there with one of the kids. Um, we'll put two in there together, the handheld sprayer, spray them off. You've got the medicine cabinet for all your toiletries, storage under the sink for your RV safe toilet paper, the toilet, of course. Uh, this is the closet that we kept our things in, me and John, and I put all of baby Israel's stuff in this drawer which worked out really perfectly actually. So again, it looks small, but when you put like baskets in there that you can organize your stuff within and then just pull out the basket, it is super spacious and really easy to stay organized. In here, the master bedroom, it has this door, which honestly I think we'll probably just take out because it's heavy, it adds a lot of weight and I can't see us ever using it since there's already a door there. Um, but it is a king size bed, which is super cool. I will say this mattress is horribly uncomfortable. Um, my hips were literally bruised from sleeping on it. So that is number one order of business before we go camping again is to replace this. But underneath it, you have tons more storage. It's a great place to throw dirty clothes or whatever. Uh, so it's a ton of storage space again. These little closets, which to be honest, we didn't use, I can't see us using. I would love to rip out this cabinetry. I know some people are gonna think I'm crazy, but I would much rather this whole room and space be a lot more open, because I don't like feeling like really close in and when you're laying back there, it feels like everything's boxing in around you. So I'd love to clear this up and just put two simple shelves on the side. It'd be nice to also be able to get further back, because as it is right now, you have to like really climb to get into bed. So that might be in the future ripping out this, brightening this whole space and just making it feel bigger. Okay, and now to take you to the room, which is the entire reason that we bought this model. Actually, the island was a big part of it, but this is what I was originally looking for and found. Welcome to the bunkhouse. In here, immediately to your left, you will notice another door. This goes to the kids' very own bathroom. This one does not have a shower, it's a half bath, but it has a toilet, a sink, a diffuser in here to keep it smelling fresh and it has this huge cabinet over here which is amazing because like <laughs> I could literally fit my whole arm's length back there you can keep towels extra toilet paper we put all the girls shoes in the bottom shelf there uh, because they were really muddy and we didn't want it to get tracked everywhere the super cool thing about this bathroom is it has its own door directly to the outside so we'd have the girls come in kick off their shoes underneath here in that bottom cabinet. That way they weren't tracking mud all throughout the RV. All right, this bunk room is legit. This was the selling point completely for us. This is where Tyler slept. That girl moves a ton in her sleep. So I like that this bunk up here was a little bit wider. Um, so she had a little bit more wiggle room, if you will. She also had her own little storage cabinet to keep her things in. Elena slept on here. She had her own little bunk space. Marin, where did you sleep? No. All right, if you look on this side, this is a bunk that folds down. I can't do it with one hand, so just imagine it right here, bunk level. Jude slept up here. This sofa, do you wanna show them? Okay, so this super cool place for them to hang out, um, just chill. You can add a TV somewhere over there if you want to, so they could hang out in their little bunkhouse watch TV. But this sofa is a jackknife sofa. So it actually pulls out into a bed that is big enough to fit three toddlers this way, or two this way, which is what we did. We had Adeline and Everly sleep there, and Marin slept on the pool out. 
down here. So we were able to fit all six of our kids in their own bunk room. We had a noise machine going. They slept the latest that they've ever slept in their entire lives. And it was amazing. It smelled a lot like a locker room when they were all in here <laughs> at night after hot days. But to me, one of the most important things was having a room that we could shut a door to, to give them the quietest, most uninterrupted sleep. It was such a huge bonus to be able to fit them all in here. So that way John and I could have the living room to hang out or stay up in. I have friends who have RVs and they said, you know, when you have kids sleeping in the dining area, then you are pretty much confined to your bedroom, which again, is not gigantic. So uh, it was really, really great to be able to have them all in here. I feel like instead of them getting scared, waking up, not knowing where they were, they were all together. So it also brought like a sense of security for them. And then there's tons of storage space in here. Obviously there's three bins up there that they were able to keep like their special things they brought with them. We kept their clothes in here. So Adlin had a section and then Jude's were in a bin. Elena had, you know, her piles and then Tyler's were in a bin. So that kept them organized. And then under here is where we kept everybody's like warm, fuzzy sweaters or pajamas and then Marin and Everly's clothes. So we helped them in the morning. So overall, while there are some decorative changes I'd like to make, like painting things white or getting rid of the accordion blinds and putting in curtains, just making it overall feel more like a home instead of like a factory RV. Uh, we really could not have found a better camper for our family. It has everything that we need and more. Um, yeah, so if you're in the market, check out Sunset Trail. I didn't even get to show you guys some of the outside stuff. I didn't even get to show you guys some of the features outside because we're parked so close to our garage, but it has a massive awning that goes out, which we've got some really cool lights for. Um, and we have an outdoor kitchen, which is really nice. It has a mini fridge in it, a sink, um, and a grill so we can cook outside and just kind of enjoy that camping life. It also has Bluetooth speakers so we can play music outside. I am just really excited to see what unfolds for our family. I know we're gonna have a lot of cool adventures in this. I'm gonna go. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna make sure you don't miss any of our videos, click follow, follow again, and then tap see first to make sure you stay up to date on what's going on with our family.